Okay, so um, this is my portfolio for 4-12-2001. I was lazy yesterday and I didn't do a video. Let's go back and look at some of our trades or our dividends. Iron Mountain on the 6th paid us one cent. Vanguard extended duration 36 cents. Vanguard bond, Vanguard long-term intermediate a penny. Total bond market 19 cents and total bond market seven cents. And there were some buys. So I'm really just going to change this entire thing up and get rid of anything that's superfluous and uh, just keep typical bogleheads in here into portfolios with randomly selected stocks. So I'm not even going to go over the ones I'm going to take get out of, but let's just go over so what some of the bogleheads did. We're up 49.52% since uh, two, November 21st, 2019, plus $335. If a portfolio up in a little under a year and a half with that had no thought put into it is up 49.52%, you know, there's something crazy going on in the market. And no, to answer the questions, this is not my real portfolio. I just do this for fun to see what's the most effective form of investing over time and to show people that you don't need to put a lot of effort into investing and you can generate money. So, oh yeah, um, we've gotten $25 since then in earned dividends. So we got the Dutch oven, it's up 35%. This is just a little play on a bogle head which is probably gonna get changed because I'm probably gonna get rid of all of these and do them in a Robinhood account. It's a hands lazy two fund approach. It's up 24.78% since June. It's a gain of $21.52. So if I'm not going over them, it means I'm getting rid of it. The Uniballer, that is the total stock market, total bond market, total international market. I'm gonna change this up too. The Bangkok Bearback, it's total stock market, small cap ETF, extended duration treasuries, total bond market. It's up 22.87% since June of 2020. Dave Ramsey's approach. I modeled this after Dave Ramsey's approach. Um, that's up 51.86%. I'm gonna re, I'm gonna do something similar to this with a little bit different bent on it, but it's gonna be very similar. But that right now is second highest one and you it's just literally a couple of ETFs that you don't even have to think about. And it's not my actual for portfolio, I'll get rid of that. And my first cream pie is up 89.43%. These are stocks I just picked. It's pretty tech heavy. Again, didn't put a whole lot of thought into this. I just tried to create a balanced portfolio. I'm not gonna spend hours for this YouTube channel going over its financials, but yeah, it's up 89%. That's my best return. Ooh, the side touch is up 53, beating the Ramsey. Total stock market, Vanguard information. Yeah, and that's why. It's barely beating it. Getting rid of this too. Some of these are fun, or, but some are but stupid. Total stock market. 100% in there. It's up 35%. My hobo's left boot. 33. That's um, Vanguard total stock market. It's just a little bit of a play on... Um, a uh, 
traditional portfolio. Bucket of hooker spit. It's up 30.43%. And this is a terrible portfolio that will be going away to take profits and just get out of this. This is not what I want to do. Twenty four five moderate. Twenty eight point ninety point nine percent. One of the easiest ways to invest. This is random one night stands. I randomly picked this. I picked these with a random number generator. I actually shouldn't have dropped them down, but even that is up 34%. Randomly picked these stocks. It can capital. I got to get rid of this thing too. I put this in just to show you, you know, hedge funds aren't beating the market. And the last one that I'm getting rid of too is up 27%. That's beer and hooker money. This is just high paying ETFs. And it's just interfering with what I want to do because I have so much stuff in here. But yeah, it's my portfolio for 412-2020, my M1 finance. We're up $309.77. And we've earned $25.95 in earned dividends. So, thanks for watching if you watched, and I'm out.